Hello guys, it is Apollonia from Lifestyle Creations by the Jacksons. Viewers are at their own risk. Guys, please read our disclaimer. Oh my God, it's been such a long time and I am so sorry. We've been really busy, but we will get back on schedule soon. So this video, I would like to discuss safety tips for women and men who are currently dating or have been out of a relationship and they would like to get back into the dating world. So I am no expert. I am just sharing some information with you. So guys, I'm going to get right into it. So when I was dating, one of the first thing I did was I got a Google voice number. And a Google Voice number you can get from Google, it, it comes with your Gmail account and it's linked to your um, phone number. So if you have a cell number, link it and it's pretty much just safeguarding your own personal number. The reason why you do that, do this is you never know who you will be meeting on online or offline. You can meet someone who is psycho offline or online. What people do nowadays is when you give them their, your phone number, they can Google that number, they can find, that, find out everything they need to know about you. The same thing with your name. The other thing that you wanna do is pick an alias. All of us have an alias. And the alias is to protect your privacy because again, once you give someone your first and last name, they go to Google, they Google your information, and you just never know who, who you'll be meeting. And you have women stalkers, you have men stalkers. Now, say for example, if you're with the hip team and the hip daters are the ones who post ads online, which is nothing wrong with that. Um, keep the profile simple. Um, I would say about three pictures is fine. If someone is requesting additional photos, I wouldn't send any more photos. I think three or four is fine. Also, you don't want to continue emailing back and forth. Once you get a feel for the person on email, you can tell if this is someone that you want to meet up with. And you know, you find someone that you connect with, then you can exchange that phone number. Now remember, the Google Voice number, not your real number. Use an AKA name as well. Now, when you pick a place to meet up, I always kept it simple. Simple for me is coffee, tea, in the daylight. And you're gonna pick the daylight because you wanna see how the person looks. You don't wanna meet up at night because night camouflages everything. Not to say that you're meeting someone just based on look, but you wanna get a feel for external, internal. You, know, you wanna get a feel for everything. Um, so again, pick a coffee shop, keep it simple. If you're having a great time, you can always upgrade to lunch or dinner. But if you're not having a great time, you can keep it simple because again, it's just coffee and tea. Now, while you're on that date, it's very important to observe how that person treats other people. And I mean how they interact with the person that's serving you how they speak about their family, their past relationship. You want to listen more than you talk because we learn more when we listen to what others have to say and we observe them. Now, some of the red flags that you wanna look for is if someone speaks poorly about their exes or just speak poorly about people in general. You wanna keep the date light on your part and not give too much information. You know, keep the conversation to topical things, not get into depth, you know, deep conversation about your past and your exes and what went wrong and this and your hurt and this, you know, um, just keep it light and surfacey. Um, now, before all this, before you start dating, I forgot to say that it's very important before you start dating that you have done some soul searching you are healthy as can be. We're, not, we're never gonna be completely free of baggage, but healthy enough where we can give, receive love, healthy enough where we're not, uh, we're not a total mess. 
and we could be total messes when we get into relationships and we're still wounded we're scarred we bring those baggages into the relationship which kind of dooms the relationship from the very beginning so it's very important that you've worked on yourself and you have to make sure that your energy is right because again we attract what we are if you have not done soul searching and have cleansed and healed and gone through that spiritual journey if you are spiritual you will attract the wrong person you want to make sure that whatever you're expecting of someone else you can give in return now to get that out the way you worked on yourself you're ready to go you're all set on um, know if you're dating for marriage you're dating for companionship you're dating for sex i mean most people are dating for an exclusive relationship marriage or a long-term companionship especially if you're in your 40s and 50s and 60s you want that companionship um make it known that's what you're looking for so that you're not playing games at that age in your 40s 50s you should know how to kind of eliminate people who don't fit what you're looking for you're never going to find someone someone who is perfect but you want to look for compatibility you want to look for someone who you can have fun with laugh with when you reach to our age it's not about sex anymore it's about liking each other liking each other is more important than being in love because love and hate are very closely knitted together so we want to make sure you could be really 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 good friends now um i could go on and on and on i don't want this video to be long-winded now at the end of your day and this applies to any day you're having a great old time everything is going wonderful um another safety tip is don't have the person drop you home um now someone nice could turn into someone dangerous you just don't know you really have to take the time to get to know someone first before you let them know where you live that you know and it's not that you're being deceitful or you're lying you're protecting yourself um and once you've gone through dating a couple of, of um I'm sorry a couple of people and if there's a connection there's chemistry I mean this isn't like a business deal if you meet someone you like them they like you it's going to progress into a relationship and then you're in an exclusive relationship I would keep the sex out of it I would keep intimacy out of it until you're in a until you're in an exclusive relationship the reason why is is because it confuses things and you really want to take the local train when you're getting to know someone because um it doesn't make any sense once you reach a certain age if if you get involved short term with someone become intimate it doesn't work you keep repeating that cycle so you want to break that cycle so really get to know someone date them and date multiple people don't lock yourself down to just one person date multiple people be honest be open i'm dating other people and when i make that connection i will become exclusive with one person i think that is simple enough in this day and age where it's not like back in the days where you meet someone you, you know you hit it off it's, it's now this everything is so technical um but again falling in love and meeting someone should not be that technical but we live in a day and age where there's a lot of scamming and 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 games and you know all these different things you tell you're just safeguarding your information your privacy your name your identity and these are the tips that i can give you that i know of if you have tips recommendations for any of us we welcome it um before i met scott i dated and it was a lot of work and um some things i had to learn the hard way so i don't want you to have to go through some of the things i went through which is which is which is why i'm sharing the information with you because i strongly believe that sharing is caring and the world would be so the world would be a much better place if all of us would just share all the information we have so that we can learn and grow from each other and sometimes you don't have to go through fire to know it's going to burn you can just watch somebody else's life or watch other people experiences and learn from that so guys what does the world need more of peace 
love and happiness and remember you don't have to be in a relationship to be happy you don't have to be married to be happy you can be by yourself and be happy being single is also a great thing as long as you're happy and one more thing before i go is you'll never find perfection in any person but one of the things that you just shouldn't do is settle and settling is when you meet someone and you don't gel you're not compatible and you settle for that person and you end up being miserable because you just want to be in a relationship be in a relationship because that person is compatible remember all of us have to kind of meet in the middle and compromise but do not compromise your happiness at all it's not worth it guys thank you so much ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching have a blessed day and hopefully my hobby will be joining us on the next video hopefully i don't have any food on my face bye